Hello everyone, welcome to Heavens Ark Ambassador's channel. I am Heavens Ark Ambassador. Let's get started. Ignaz Philip Semmelweis being perplexed of the maternal mortality rate in the Vienna General Hospital, decided to investigate the cause, seeking differences between the two wards. Semmelweis observed that doctors and medical students often visited the maternity ward directly after performing an autopsy result. Semmelweis imposed a new rule mandating hand washing with chlorine for doctors. With hand washing as a medical practice, the maternal mortality rate of porpo fever in his maternity ward fell dramatically, and it was a proof that hand washing could prevent infections. However, the innovation was not popular with everyone. Some doctors were disgruntled saying Semmelweis was implying that they were to be blamed for the deaths and stopped washing their Hand washing has been the single most effective action in preventing the spread of infections. Over the years, it is scientifically proven that germs from unwashed hands can be transferred to other objects such as handrails, tabletops, or chores, and then transfer to another person's hands. Since people frequently touch their eyes, nose, mouth without even realizing it, germs from unwashed hands can get into people's body or even foods and drinks when people prepare them and when taken in, result in illness. In early 2020, when COVID-19 pandemic became prevalent all over the world, most especially in Europe and Asia. Scientific research found that hand washing destroys the outer membrane of the COVID-19 virus and thereby inactivates it. With this study, hand washing was announced the key factor in the fight against COVID-19. Several organizations, which include World Health Organization, UNICEF, Unilever, UNIDO, JICA, IAM, OCA, UNHCR, and FPA, and Global Hand Washing Partnership joined the campaign of promoting hand washing as a medical practice to help reduce the spread of the virus, and it was scientifically observed to have made a great impact in fighting against the COVID. 19 virus. Apart from COVID-19, hand washing has generally impacted the world positively. As far as humans and animals lives are concerned, hand washing has proven to be simple and effective act of keeping one's self healthy and safe from disease that spread easily by contact. However, this practice was once someone's initiative on the medical field when it was not known for its effectiveness. The medical doctor who first initiated hand washing as a medical practice to control spread of disease faced a lot of critics, mockery, and rejection during his lifetime as a medical practitioner. And who is this medical doctor? He is Ignaz Semmelweis, the father of hand hygiene. Ignaz Philip Semmelweis 
was a Hungarian born on July 1, 1818, in Tabin, neighborhood of Buda, Kingdom of Hungary, under the Austrian Empire. He was the fifth child out of the ten children of Ters M. L. L. E. R. and J. Z. S. E. F. Semmelweis. His father, Joseph Semmelweis, was of German ancestry and was born in Kismartin. Joseph Semmelweis was granted citizenship in Buda, 1806, and in the same year, he opened a wholesale business for species and general consumer goods. The company was named at the White Elephant in the Mindel House, today's Semmelweis Museum of Medical History, located at 1 to 3A Broad Street, Budapest. In 1810, Sef Semmelweis, the father of Ignaz Semmelweis, became wealthy man and married to MLLER, the daughter of the coach builder, Flop MLLER. At age 19, Ignaz Semmelweis began studying law at the University of Vienna in the autumn of 1837, but by the following year he had switched to medicine and studied medicine for six years. In 1844, Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis obtained his doctorate degree in medicine and proceeded to specialize in obstetrics after failing to obtain an appointment in a clinic for internal medicine. On his medical field as a student, he had a lot of great professors as his teachers. The most relevant ones included Baron Karl von Rikotansky, a bohemian physician, pathologist, humanist, philosopher, and liberal politician. Baron founded the Viennese School of Medicine of the 19th century and also the founder of science-based diagnostics. Joseph Koda, a physician, medical professor, and dermatologist. Koda was one of the founders of modern medical school of Vienna. Ferdinand Ritter von Hebra, an Austrian physician and dermatologist, von Hebra founded the new Vienna School of Dermatology. After specializing in obstetrics, Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis was appointed an assistant to Professor Johann Klein, a professor of obstetrics at the University of Salzburg and at the University of Vienna in the first obstetrical clinic of the Vienna General Hospital on July 1846. As an assistant head of a general obstetrical hospital, his duties were to examine patients each morning in preparation for professors' rounds, secondly, to supervise difficult deliveries, then again teach student of obstetrics, and lastly be clerk of records. During that time, maternity institutions were set up all over Europe to address problems of infanticide of illegitimate children. They were set up as gratis institutions and offered to care for infants, of which it made them attractive to underprivileged women, including prostitutes. In return for the free services, the women would be subjects for the training of doctors and midwives. In the Viennese hospital, there were two maternity clinics. The first clinic was medical students, doctors run maternity ward, and the second clinic was midwives run, maternity ward. In those times, there was poor pro-fever prevalence. In both clinics at the hospital, poor pro-fever is a postpartum infections of the female, reproductive tract following childbirth or miscarriage. But in the first clinic, which is the doctor's run ward, the maternal mortality rate of the poor pro fever was three times higher than that of the second clinic, which is run by only midwives. 
Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis being perplexed of the maternal mortality rate in the Vienna General Hospital, decided to investigate the cause, seeking differences between the two wards. Semmelweis observed that doctors and medical students often visited the maternity ward directly after performing an autopsy. He then developed thesis that those performing autopsies got cadaverous particles on their hands which they carried from the autopsy room into the maternal ward. He continued to establish that midwives did not conduct surgery or autopsy and therefore they are not exposed much to these cadaverous particles that cause the purple fever. Later, he had support to his hypothesis when a colleague doctor died from wound infection incurred during the examination of a woman who died of purple infection and similarities were found in the two cases. As a result, Semmelweis imposed a new rule mandating hand washing with chlorine for doctors. With hand washing as a medical practice, the maternal mortality rate of purple fever in his maternity ward fell dramatically, and it was a proof that hand washing could prevent infections. However, the innovation was not popular with everyone. Some doctors were disgruntled saying, Semmelweis was implying that they were to be blamed for the deaths and stopped washing their hands, arguing in support of the prevailing notion at that time that water was the potential cause of disease. The Viennese Hospital Administration and the general medical community refused to adopt Semmelweis's idea of hand washing as medical practice. They openly resisted his initiative and ridiculed him since he could not offer any scientific experimental evidence to his hand washing initiative at that time. As a result of that, Semmelweis became very angry at the medical establishment's failure to even consider a simple hand washing to save lives. With that, Semmelweis wrote letters to medical journals, accusing the doctors of being murders. Again in despair, he began passing out hand bills in the street telling women to demand that their doctors wash their hands. With this, Semmelweis ran into more trouble. Professor Johann Klein, the Vienna hospital's administrator at that time, stripped Semmelweis of his university and hospital position and repeatedly blocked his career progress in Vienna. Semmelweis contract in Vienna. Hospital was terminated and was dismissed from the hospital. Afterwards, he was continually harassed and mocked by the medical community in Vienna and was eventually forced to move back to Buda, today's Budapest. He became outraged by the continued indifference of the medical profession to the cure for purple fever or childbed. In so much desperation, he began writing open and increasingly angry letters to prominent European obstetricians, denouncing them as irresponsible murders. Eventually, he became severely depressed, overawed, by his frustration and inability to save the mothers of Europe from childbed fever. His contemporaries, including his wife, believed he was losing his mind. 
1865, Selma Weiss was committed to an insane asylum in Vienna. In the asylum, he struggled with the asylum guards, and he was beaten mercilessly by the guards, of which he incurred a gangrenous wound on his right hand and resulted his death 14 days after his admission in the asylum. Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis died on August 13, 1865 at age 47 and was buried in Vienna on August 15, 1865. Many years after Semmelweis's death, Louis Pasteur, a French chemist and microbiologist, discovered the germ theory of disease, which supported Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis's idea. With the germ theory, it was scientifically proven that diseases are caused by microorganisms in the environment. Today, Hand washing has become the most accepted and widely encouraged medical practice all over the world. The modern scientists have acknowledged Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis for his genius ideas. In 2008, a gold cairn was made in Austria with Semmelweis's picture on it commemorating him. His birthplace is now Semmelweis Museum of Medical History. In University of Tehran, a statue of Semmelweis have been made for his commemoration. In Shindrokas Hospital of Budapest in Hungary, Ignaz Semmelweis's statue was erected 1904 after the germ theory confirms Semmelweis hypothesis and then again, Semmelweis University, located in Budapest, Hungary, was built to his commemoration. Finally, on the 20th of March, 2020, Google included Semmelweis as Google Doodle to promote hand-washing during the COVID-19 pandemic.